Hello and welcome back to Coco Sleep, a podcast of original children's bedtime stories and meditations designed to make bedtime a dream. I'm thrilled with all the positive reviews coming in. Very special thanks to the Johnston family in Austria who love the Jupiter Twins. I'm hoping there will be more adventures with Jake and Lily soon too. I'll take a peek into Coco's story chest to see what's coming up. But meanwhile, thank you all for taking the time to go to Apple Podcasts to rate and tell us what you like. In tonight's story, we return to the jungle to meet our kind-hearted friend King Leo. Even though Leo is feeling very sleepy, he's keen to go on an adventure so that he can have lots of fun. In a minute, let's hear what happens when King Leo heads into the magical jungle. Firstly, though, I'd like you to snuggle down under your covers. Close your eyes and gently open and close your mouth in a silent roar. Open your mouth and breathe in. As you breathe out, sigh and then close your mouth gently. Relax your jaw and take a breath in through your nose and gently let it out. This is King Leo's Lazy Adventures by Karina Price. King Leo was a kind-hearted lion, and he loved looking after all his animals. But one day, he decided he wanted a day off from his royal duties. He really wanted to go on an adventure into the middle of the jungle where he could explore and have fun meeting new friends and doing lots of exciting and fun things. The only problem was, King Leo was feeling very sleepy. But this did not stop him. He decided that even though he was feeling so relaxed and lazy, he still wanted to go on an exciting adventure. Leo packed his bag with some very important things. He packed sweets, a big bottle of chocolate milkshake, and a compass and map so that he wouldn't get lost. Leo was especially excited about going into the centre of the jungle because there was something quite magical there. A treasure chest full of coins, magical gold coins, and Leo couldn't wait to find it. Before he set off, Leo held out his map to make sure he was heading in the right direction. He was entering a part of the jungle he'd never explored before, and he didn't want to get lost. Right, thought Leo. I need to find the napping tree first, and then the ten dozing steps, as these will lead me to the magical gold coins. With this in mind, Leo set off into the jungle on his very exciting adventure. The sun was happily shining, and the lovely warm rays kissed his cheeks. As he walked along, Leo admired the beautiful plants such as the giant water lily, cacao trees, passion flowers, coffee plants and monkey brush vines. The trees and the plants made a rainbow of colour, Blues, pinks, reds and greens. Leo could see birds flying in the sky chirping away and butterflies fluttering amongst the delicious berries. He looked down at the ground and noticed a brightly coloured rocket frog. The frog was called Rocco and when he saw Leo he said, Hey, what are you doing in this part of the jungle? I've never seen you here before. I'm King Leo, and I'm going on an adventure today to find the treasure chest at the centre of the jungle. I'm trying to find the napping tree first, as this will help me to find the chest. Well, said Rocco, I know exactly where you're heading, but are you sure you want to go that way? as it's known to make animals feel very tired and sleepy. That's okay, said Leo. I will try my best not to feel tired, and I will try really hard not to close my eyes if I feel sleepy. 
So Leo followed Rocco the frog as he led him to the napping tree. They soon arrived at the napping tree. Leo stood at the side of it and watched a magical golden mist gently rising above the ground. He felt like he was in a mystical dreamland, so peaceful and relaxing, and Leo felt so safe there. Leo noticed his eyes were starting to feel heavy. He was feeling really sleepy. So sleepy now, and it felt so nice. Wait, uh, I, I mustn't go to sleep, he muttered. I must try very hard not to fall asleep now. I must try very hard not to fall asleep now. I need to find the dozing steps quickly before my eyes get too tired. Just then a spectacled owl flew down and said, Hello, friend. You look like you are lost. Can I help? Yes, please, said Leo. I really need to find the dozing steps before I get too tired. I'm going on an adventure to find the magical gold coins and I don't want to fall asleep before I get there. The owl said, Well, the best thing to do when you're feeling sleepy is to try not to close your eyes now. Try not to notice your eyes are getting heavier and heavier now. And try not to notice your body is feeling nice and relaxed now. And that will help you. Follow me and I will take you to the dozing steps. Leo lazily followed the spectacled owl, who was flying gracefully high in the sky, its beautiful wings gliding in the gentle breeze, swaying left and right, side to side. And as he flew high in the sky above King Leo's head, his wings started to release magical sleep dust. Lot of sparkling sleep dust drifted down onto Leo, making him feel ever so tired. Here are the dozing steps, my friend, said the spectacled owl. Good luck with your adventures. Oh, and look out for the lazy river. There are lots of lazy crocodiles living there. Leo looked down and saw ten dozing steps in front of him, leading down into the deep jungle. All he needed to do was to take ten steps down, and with every step down he would get closer to the magical gold coins. Let's step down the napping steps with King Leo, taking the first step down now. Ten, feeling nice and relaxed. Nine, listening to the friendly sounds of the birds, feeling calm. Eight, deeper and deeper levels of relaxation, stepping down to seven, your arms and legs feeling so relaxed. Six. Your eyes are starting to feel heavy now. So sleepy now. Five. Four. Nice and relaxed. That's right. Stepping down to three. Feeling so relaxed and safe now. Two. Safe and sound. One. Cozy and relaxed. All the way down to zero. 
Leo sleepily arrived next to the lazy river, and as he curiously walked over to it, he noticed his eyes just seemed to feel more tired. They started to feel really heavy now, and he was trying his very best not to fall asleep, and he was trying so hard for his eyes not to close. He carried on walking, but he started to get slower and slower with every step he took. He finally reached the lazy river, but he couldn't see any lazy crocodiles. It just looked like a normal river to him. So he decided to take a seat next to the tree and rest his eyes for a moment or two. Leo fell asleep, but a moment later, a movement beneath him woke him up. What was going on? Oh dear, Leo had fallen asleep on top of a crocodile. He was too sleepy to move, and the crocodile slowly walked into the river, with Leo sitting on top of him. The crocodile waded into the water and began swimming down the lazy river. Leo wondered how he was going to get off the crocodile. He noticed a floating log nearby and jumped onto it. Phew, he thought. That was a lucky escape. After all that excitement, he decided to close his eyes, relax, and gently float down the river, nice and easy. Leo's eyes started to feel heavy and heavier, and he slowly began to fall asleep. Little did he know that he was heading towards a great big waterfall. What was he going to do? Luckily, there were some monkeys up in the trees eating delicious bananas, and they could see Leo floating down the river on his log towards the waterfall. So the monkeys reached down and grabbed Leo. They pulled him high into the trees, just in time. As they did so, Leo woke up and asked the monkeys what he was doing up in the trees. One of the monkeys said they had saved him from going over the edge of the waterfall. Leo thanked them for rescuing him. He told them about his adventure and how he was looking for the treasure chest with the magical gold coins inside it. The monkey said if he was travelling through the jungle on an adventure, would he have time to join their party? They would love him to be there. He was going to be great fun, and there would be chocolate cake, sweets, Party games, face painting, the lot. Leo smiled and said it sounded amazing. And yes, please, he would love to go to their party. When the monkeys and the lion arrived at the party, there was fun music playing in the background. The orangutans were beating the drums and the other animals were dancing and laughing and having lots of fun. Some were doing silly face paints on each other's faces. Others were playing pass the parcel and telling funny jokes. One of the monkeys said, It's time for the birthday cake. It's taken us three days to make this yummy masterpiece. It's as tall as a mountain and has every single sweet you can think of on it. 
marshmallows, lollipops, chocolate buttons, candy canes and candy floss. Leo could not wait to have a piece of the delicious cake. Everyone stood around the cake and started to sing happy birthday to one of the little monkeys. But as everyone was singing, Leo started to feel very sleepy. His eyes felt heavy and heavier, and he was trying his best to keep them open. He really didn't want to fall asleep now, and he tried not to focus on feeling relaxed, because he didn't want to miss out on a delicious piece of cake. But, oh no, Leo couldn't stop himself from falling asleep. He fell into a deep sleep, and accidentally fell face first into the birthday cake, right into the middle of it. The monkeys looked at the cake in dismay. Leo quickly woke up and apologised. He just hadn't been able to stop himself from falling asleep. He said sorry again and offered to help with a party. He asked if there was anything that needed doing. The monkey said he could help them with the balloons, as they needed air putting into them. Leo went over to the balloon-making machine, and one by one, he started to fill the balloons with air. There were red balloons, blue, green and multicoloured balloons. Some balloons were big and round, and others were long and oblong. Leo was proud of himself and knew the monkeys would love the bright colourful balloons. But as he continued getting the balloons ready, the soothing sound of the air began to make him feel tired. The sound of the air filling the balloons was just so relaxing. Listening to the balloons getting bigger and bigger, listening to them getting longer and longer, Leo noticed that he started to feel so lazy. Leo thought he needed to take a break, but he had promised the monkeys he would help them, so he carried on. He started to feel so sleepy and tired now, and he just wanted to rest his head on the soft grass. All he could think about was resting his head on the lovely leaves and feeling cosy and warm. He wondered what it would be like if he just took a little five-minute nap. And as he started to wonder what it would be like, He gently closed his eyes and fell asleep again. But guess what? The balloon-making machine was still going, and some of the balloons were attached to Leo's leg. They started to get tangled around his leg more and more. As more and more balloons started to fill with air, they started to float up into the sky with Leo attached to them. Leo was asleep as he floated higher and higher and higher into the sky, up and up. The monkeys saw Leo, but they couldn't reach him because he was too high. Leo ended up in the clouds. When he woke up, He was on a big, fluffy cloud. It felt like he was on a cloud of candy floss. He wondered how he had ended up on the clouds, but as he sat on the soft, fluffy cloud, he realised it was quite nice and relaxing. He looked around. To his amazement, 
all the clouds in the sky started to change colours. Some of the clouds were pink, some were yellow, blue, purple and red. Leo wondered what it would be like to step onto each of the coloured clouds. Then he wondered how he was going to get down from the clouds, because he had an adventure he needed to go on. At that moment, he saw a colourful toucan flying in the sky. The toucan noticed Leo's situation and told him to look over at the blue cloud because there was a rainbow near it. Leo could hop onto the rainbow and slide all the way down back to the jungle. The bird said it would be a lot of fun. So Leo did just that. He hopped onto the rainbow and slid all the way down. But, oh dear, he didn't land on the soft jungle grass. Instead, Leo landed in a slippery lagoon. Every single time Leo tried to get out of the lagoon, he slid back in again. And not only that, but the gooey slime was also making all sorts of funny squelching noises. Leo thought he was never going to get out of the slippery lagoon. But then he noticed some bubbles popping on the surface of the water. And more and more bubbles started to appear. His friend... Rocco the frog hopped out from behind the bubbles and said, Hey Leo, what are you doing here? Leo said, I slid down a rainbow and ended up here, and now I can't seem to get out. Every single time I try, I slide back again. Rocco said, he knew how to get Leo out of the lagoon and told him that Petra the python could help him. She was a very friendly python and often helped others when they were stuck somewhere. Rocco called out for his friend Petra. A moment later, the beautiful snake slithered slowly towards Leo. She extended her long, silvery tail towards him and gently wrapped it around his belly and pulled him along very slowly and carefully out of the lagoon. Theo thanked the kind snake for helping him. He said, Sometimes I just feel so sleepy. So relaxed, and it's just so easy to close my eyes and fall into a dreamy, peaceful sleep. Petra told him that the next time he feels so sleepy, he should do what she does and think about all the fun things she'll be doing tomorrow, and that stops her from falling asleep. Leo said that was a great idea, and he would try that when he next felt sleepy. Leo continued on his adventure and walked along a grassy path. He found a comfy rock to sit on. He decided to follow Petra's advice and used his imagination to think of all the fun things he was going to do tomorrow to stop himself from feeling so sleepy. As Leo thought about those fun things, he gently closed his eyes and started to fall asleep. When Leo was asleep, it started to rain. Lovely, warm, tropical rain, where the rain created a big mudslide and a large amount of wet dirt 
flowed down the hill towards Leo and carried him along. When the mudslide stopped, Leo woke up in a daze. Confused and covered in mud, Leo decided to walk over to a nearby stream to wash himself off. As he did so, he felt vibrations underneath him. The ground shook, and when Leo turned around, he was greeted by a herd of elephants who were on their way to a stream. The elephants recognized the king and asked why he was there. Leo told them about his journey to find the treasure chest that was full of golden coins, and how he kept falling asleep on the way. He asked the elephants if they could help him reach the treasure chest. One of the elephants said they could help and they would take him to Bongo's house. When Leo asked who Bongo was, the elephant said he was really good at making trampolines and if Leo jumped on one when he was tired, it would definitely keep him awake. Leo thought that was an excellent idea. He climbed onto the elephant's back and was taken over to Bongo's house. When they arrived, Leo slid all the way down the elephant's trunk and lazily dawdled over to Bongo's house. Bongo was making a super bouncy trampoline out of bamboo. Leo asked if he could bounce on the trampoline to wake him up a bit as he was feeling so tired and relaxed and he wanted to do something to stop him from going to sleep. Bongo said of course he could, but warned, whatever you do, don't bounce on the stripy one over there, as it will make you bounce higher than you ever thought possible. Leo said he would stay away from the stripy one. He hopped onto the trampoline and started to bounce, higher and higher, and felt like he was flying. Leo wondered if he would feel less sleepy if he tried out the stripy super trampoline. And when Bongo wasn't looking, he hopped onto it. He loved bouncing higher and higher. But then... He did the biggest bounce ever, and he bounced up into the air, through the clouds, up into space. He went past the moon and saw the magical stars. He slowly floated all the way back and landed in the middle of the jungle exactly where he was heading in the first place. Phew! Leo finally reached the magical treasure chest. As he slowly opened it, a dazzling glow beamed out. He picked up several coins, and to his amazement, they were chocolate coins. He said, Oh my goodness, this is my biggest dream. I've always dreamt of eating lots of chocolate coins. Leo started to eat the delicious coins, one by one. They were utterly delicious. With every coin he ate, another one magically appeared in the treasure chest. Leo couldn't wait to return to his cosy cave with the rest of the magical gold coins. He decided to take the chest back to his home so he could share the delicious golden coins with his animals. 
He knew they liked chocolate as much as he did, and the thought of their happy faces made Leo feel warm and happy inside. He pushed the treasure chest in the direction of his cosy cave, and the night sky gently appeared, twinkling stars guiding him home. But with every step he took, He started to feel so tired and sleepy now. His eyes started to feel heavier and heavier with every step that he took. He was feeling so deeply relaxed now. I'm just going to close my eyes for a moment or two. I'm not going to go to sleep now. Feeling so sleepy now. He closed his tired eyes and let out a long, long happy sigh. Falling asleep, lying peacefully under the twinkling stars and the happy moon. The next day, Leo woke up in his cosy cave. How did I get back home? And where are my magical coins? he said. His friend, Emu, said, King Leo, you have been in your cosy cave, fast asleep all night. You must have had a lovely dream. Leo said it was the best dream he'd ever had. He snuggled back into his bed and smiled as he thought about his wonderful dream, feeling nice and cosy, safe and sound.